Hey guys! So today I thought we would do some work on Sizzling Start. Now Sizzling Start is a way we can get our narrative writing to really pop and engage with the reader at the very beginning of the piece of writing. So what we are going to do in this video lesson is look at how sound, action and dialogue can be used uh, to create a Sizzling Start and um, a few examples and then we'll annotate a piece of uh, a piece of writing so that you can see exactly what it looks like and, and how you can reproduce it for your own writing. So we'll get straight into it. So with a sizzling start and the beginning of any story, it's really important to start where the action is. Um, with movies and with books, it usually doesn't start with a very plain sort of scene with the character sitting around having a cup of tea. It, it generally starts with something exciting happening. Um, so for instance, in the Star Wars movies, you'll quite often see a big space battle at the beginning or a chase or, or something like that. And that really grabs the, the, the audience's attention. And the same goes for your writing. So um, generally in a sizzling start, you're not introducing too many characters. It just is a, is a very exciting start that sort of hooks the reader. And research has shown that a reader is hooked within the first minute or so of reading a book. So it's really crucial that you uh, grab your reader's attention at the very beginning. So let's have a look at an example here. We've got before. Once there was a tooth fairy with a bad temper, she always went out and blah, 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 blah. Already it's sort of quite boring. Saying there's a there's a tooth fairy, yeah, that's introducing a character. She's got a bad temper, yep, sure, sure. She always went out and did this and did this and did this. Before you know it, you're just listing things. So let's look at an up-leveled version after. What? Is that the fairy? The little kid in the bed muttered. No, said the tooth fairy. Be quiet and keep your eyes shut, or you'll get no money for your tooth. It was her 104th visit for the night, and her wings hurt, and she was definitely over eager little kids. So you can see straight away how this better version, or the up level version, is using some great sound, action, and dialogue. So we can look at the sound with uh, the what and the muttered. Lots of ways for the sound to be uh, integrated into the writing. Uh, there's lots and lots of action. So the tooth fairies obviously burst into the room. That's what I'm seeing in my head as I read it. And there's a child quivering in bed or quite scared. And there's quite a bit of dialogue. So that's talk between the characters. And the boy, talk, the little kid talking in the bed and the tooth fairy having a bit of a grumble back and showing her true character. So it's a really great example. Some more examples and some more styles that you can use. Beginning with action. Five, four, three, two, one. The cameras were rolling and I was about I was about to eat a cockroach. So straight away that's hooked the reader, hasn't it? It's really got them excited to wonder why you're eating a cockroach and, and why were their cameras rolling. Uh, intrigue, make them curious. Again, that's with the first one. The beach house is great, but then my cousins arrived with the bacon, the bricks, and wearing their usual beanies. Again, creates that sense of what what's happening next in the story. Dialogue, super, super important, brings the characters to life. It's just a rat, I was said breathing hard. Rats don't growl, said Mike. Humor's always great. Put something funny in. Ever cheer for your footy team with a pie in one hand and a drink in the other? Don't. When the final goal happened, I wore both. <laughs> and our moment of change, all was going well on the hike until the heat wave happened. I was hot and sweaty and dying for a swim. Then I saw the river and the sign warning, crocodiles. So lots of change happening at the very beginning. Really quick sort of punchy starts to stories. So I've got an example of a sizzling start, which I've just written now. And um, we'll read it first, and then what we're going to do is annotate it and look at the different ways that I use sound, action, and dialogue to, to create an engaging start to the story. Uh, we'll start from the beginning. I opened the door to the disco, and the music hit me like a blast. Lights flashed, people moved in a swirl of colour, and suddenly it was hard to breathe again. Nerves, I guess. It was the big dance competition tonight. Sam and I have been practicing for months. This year we would do it. We would win. We must. Hi there. It was Penelope. Yeah, of course it would be. Bet you think you're going to win tonight. So straight away we can see some... We'll start with dialogue on this one in our nice purple colour. We can see straight away at the bottom another character has come in called Penelope. And she's sort of... We can infer that she's their maybe rival or another person at school who they don't get along with, and she must be a dancer too. So that automatically that creates a bit of intrigue for the reader. Um, having a look for a bit of action. Lights flashed, people moved in a swirl of colour, and suddenly it was hard to breathe. 
lots of action there. We'll highlight that with our blue. Now, the sizzling star doesn't have to all be completely sound action and dialogue. It might have more action than dialogue. It might have more sound than dialogue, more dialogue than action, things like that. But it's got to be a mixture of all three. And no sizzling star is the same, but we try and include at least two of those three aspects and hopefully all three uh, within the sizzling star. Last one here is our sound, and I've seen one great example. Well, I mean, it's, I wrote it, so it's a great example. The music hit me like a blast. So you can see three really great examples, I would say, of sound, action, and dialogue, and it's, it's created a really good start for the, for the reader. So what I want you guys to do now when you start your um, narratives and your pieces of writing is really think about using SAD or SAD, sound, action, dialogue, to create that great sizzling start because without it your pieces of writing no matter how well written aren't going to engage the reader so hopefully we can take away a good lesson from that today but thank you for watching and if you aren't subscribed already it'd be great if you could but um yeah we'll see you next time